So in this video, we will learn how to add WooCommerce order details to Google Sheet. Now suppose guys, you are a WooCommerce store owner and you want, whenever you receive a new order on your WooCommerce store, you want to add those order details into Google Sheet. Now guys, you can completely automate this process and the trigger of this automation will be receiving a new order in your WooCommerce store and the action will be addition of those new order details into your Google Sheet as a new row. Now, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we will go to a browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pavli Connect account. And after signing in, we will reach to this All Apps page of Pabli. Here you, we have to click on Access Now below Pabli Connect. And after that, we will see we have reached to Pabli Connect's dashboard. In this dashboard, just click on Create Workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I'll name my workflow as WooCommerce to Google Sheets and click on Create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data of new orders which we are receiving in our WooCommerce store and Pavli Connect. Then after that, using Public Connect, we will send those new order details to Google Sheet to add them as a new row over there. So let's begin. So here in trigger window, in choose app, we will search for WooCommerce. WooCommerce it is. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, we will select new order created. After selecting a trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL guys, we will be connecting our WooCommerce store with Pabli Connect. And how we are going to do it, you can refer to the help text given below over here. So just copy this webhook URL from here and after that go to your WooCommerce store. So this is my WordPress dashboard where I have installed my WooCommerce plugin. So this is my plugin, just hover on it and go to WooCommerce settings over here. After going to settings, click on this advanced option. And then here you can see several options out of which we have to click on webhooks. And now we have reached to the webhooks page of Pavli. Oh sorry, webhooks page of WooCommerce. Here just click on this add webhook button over here. And then just give some details like the name of this webhook. For example, I would like to name my webhook as Pavli. Then from the drop down below, we have to select the status. So I'll select the status as active. Then the topic. So the topic of a webhook URL will be order created. So we want that whenever a new order is created in our WooCommerce store, the details of that order should be sent to Public Connect. So we will select order created as a topic. Then it is asking us for the delivery URL. So we have to paste the same webhook URL which Public Connect gave us over here in place of this delivery URL. Just paste it. So guys, if you have any doubt, any confusion regarding these details, you can basically refer to the help text given below over here. So after entering these details, just click on save webhook. And that is it. We can see that it is showing us webhook updated successfully. This means we have successfully connected our WooCommerce store with Pavli Connect using this webhook URL. Now every time a new order will be received on our WooCommerce store, the details of that order will be captured inside Pavli Connect workflow over here. And guys, we are going to do the same. We are going to place a test order, a dummy order on our WooCommerce store. But first, just click on this recapture webhook response button over here. And then it is showing us waiting for webhook response, which means is Public Connect is waiting to get some details, some data of new order from WooCommerce. So we will go to a WooCommerce store. Let me show visit my store over here. And after that, we are going to place an order. So let's search for a product. For example, this is a round neck black t-shirt. We are going to buy this. Let's click on add to cart, scroll down and proceed to checkout. 
So right now over here at this page, we will be entering the details, the dummy details of a dummy customer, some test details. So this is the name of the customer who is placing the order, dummy test. This is the address of the customer. This is the dummy address of the customer. Let's enter a dummy mobile number over here. And uh, this is the dummy email address. Okay, so in this way, we have just entered the details of a test customer, a dummy customer. Let's click on place order and the order is placed. Now here you can see that just now we have received a new order on our WooCommerce store. And because we have connected WooCommerce with Pavli Connect using the Webhook URL, the details of the same order will also be captured inside Pavli Connect. And yes, here in Pavli Connect, we can see that we have received some response. And in this response, we will see the details of the same order. We have the same order ID as you can see over here in order number section. Then after that, we have the same status of this order that is processing. We have the date and time that at what date and time this order was received by us. Then we have the total amount of the order. Then we have the name of the customer who placed the order dummy test, the address of the customer, email address, phone number and other details as well. We also have the payment method which customer chose and when we will scroll down, we will find some other details regarding the same order which we have received over here. So we will be also seeing the product which the customer has ordered, what was the product ID, what was the total amount and all of these things. So in this way guys, we have successfully received the new order details which we have received on WooCommerce in Pavli Connect. Now after that, we want to send this data, our order details or send this order data to Google Sheet. Now to do so, just scroll down in your Pavli Connect workflow and come to action window. And here in choose app, we will search for Google Sheet. Google Sheets it is, just select it. And after that, in action event from the drop down, we have to select add new row. After that, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to basically connect our Google Sheets account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on connect with Google Sheets, select your Google Sheets account, scroll down and click on continue. And that is it. Now we will see that our Google Sheets account gets connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us to select spreadsheet. And in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have created in our Google Sheets account can be seen over here. So out of all of these spreadsheets, which you can see the spreadsheet in which I want to add my WooCommerce order details is named as WooCommerce order details. So this is a particular spreadsheet in which I want to add the details of my WooCommerce order. And I want to add these details. I have given headers in these columns as well. So we will be selecting WooCommerce order details, this spreadsheet in our, from our Google Sheets account from the drop down. Just select the spreadsheet. Then after selecting the spreadsheet, the next thing it asks us to select the sheet. So in this spreadsheet, as you can see, there is only one sheet named as sheet one. So here in Pavli Connect, we will also select sheet one only. Then we will see that order ID, order date time and all the other columns of data which we have created in our Google spreadsheet can be seen in Pavli Connect as a new field. So every column can be seen as a new field over here in Pavli Connect. Now what data we want to add in this column? we have to basically map that data. So in field of order ID, we wanted to add the order of the ID of the new order, which we have received from WooCommerce. So just let me show you the order ID. So this is the order ID. Now what we have to do, we have to basically send this response of order ID, which we have received from WooCommerce over here in this field. So basically we will be mapping this field, mapping this data over here in this field of order ID in the Google Sheets step. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from WooCommerce and Public Connect can be seen. And out of all of these responses, select the response of order ID and it will be mapped over here. So in this way, we have mapped the order ID and we will follow the same process, the same step of mapping to map rest of the data from which we have received from WooCommerce like the order date and time just click here and from the drop down we have noticed that we have received the order created date and time just select it and map it over here then let's map the name of the customer so we have also received the name of the customer from woocommerce just scroll down this is the name just select the first name 
After that, just add a space over here. And after that, from the drop down, map the last name as well. So we have mapped the name of the customer. Now let's map the email address. Let's search for email. This is the customer email. Select it and map it. And let's map rest of the data, like the mobile number. This was the mobile number. Then the address. So we have address in several responses, like address line one. After that, just add a comma. Then let's map the address line two. Then map the name of the city. So we are also received the city. Then let's map the state. So we have the state. And at last, after a hyphen, let's map the postal code, which we have received. The postal code. So in this way, we have mapped the complete address. Now let's map the product name. So we will be receiving the product name from this response item. So we have the item name, the product name, which customer has ordered. Just map it. Let's map the quantity. This is the quantity and the total amount. So this is the response of the total amount. Select it and map it. So in this way, all the details which we have received from WooCommerce of our new order, we can map all of this data in our Google Sheet step. And after mapping all of these details, just click on Save and Send Test Request. After clicking on Save and Send Test Request, we can see that we have received some response over here. And then this response show, seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped in these fields or basically the order details of new order which we have received on our WooCommerce store are now added as a new row in our Google Sheet. So let's check our Google Sheet over here. We'll go to a spreadsheet. And yes, guys, here we can see that the same details of the same order which we have placed just now on our WooCommerce store, the same dummy order which we have placed in our WooCommerce store, we can see the same details over here. We have the same order ID, same date and time that at what date and time this order was received. We have the name of the customer, the email, mobile number, address of the customer, the project product that they have bought, quantity and the total amount of the order. So in this way, guys, you can basically add the WooCommerce order details into your Google Sheet as a new row. Also, there is one important thing that the date and time of order which we receive from WooCommerce in our Pavli Connect workflow is basically in UTC time format. So no matter what time zone you are using for your WooCommerce store, you will receive the data of new order in Pavli Connect in UTC time format from WooCommerce. So if you want, you can basically change the format of the or the, the time format of or the time zone of this date in the Pavli Connect workflow using date time format step. So guys, we can see that the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. After this, let's test this automation workflow once. Once again, we'll go to our WooCommerce store and this time we will purchase some other product. For example, this time we will purchase this white t-shirt. Let's click on add to cart. Scroll down, click on proceed to checkout. Let's change the name of the customer this time. For example, test name. This is the name of the customer. Let's change the address as well. Bhopal's is the city. Madhya Pradesh is the state. Let's change the postal code as well. These are the, some dummy details. Also a new mobile number and a new email address as well. And after entering some other details of a new dummy user, let's click on place order. And yes, we can see that we have placed another test order. So we have just now received a new order on our WooCommerce store. And because we have created this automation, instantly, automatically, we will see that the details of this new order will be added as a new row in our Google Sheet row as well. Let's wait for a few seconds. And yes, guys, we can see that instantly the same order with the same test order which we have placed just now, the details of that order is now added as a new row in our, book, our Google Sheet. So we have the order ID, the date and time that at what date and time we place the order. We have the name of the customer, same name, test customer. We have the same other details of regarding the order as well. So in this way, guys, we have tested this automation in real time and we saw this automation is working perfectly fine. Now after this, let's understand in brief that what are the steps we followed to set up this automation. So first we have created a workflow in Pavli Connect. And in this workflow, we have selected WooCommerce as our trigger application and new order created as our trigger event. Then using a webhook URL, we have connected WooCommerce with Pavli Connect. 
after that after we have placed a test order a dummy order on our woocommerce store so that we can get the details of new order in public connect workflow and then using public connect we have sent all of the data to google sheet so that we can add the order details there as well that too automatically so not just these application guys you can basically connect plenty of other applications using public connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone the same workflow into your own public connect account and use this workflow for free and also public connect offers you a forever free plan and in this plan you will get free tasks in your own public connect account every month so if you want to try and test this automation workflow you can do it for absolutely free if you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check public and expressing at this link so if you this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to pavli thank you have a nice day